AI Sun Latest T3B Smart Soldering Station. Here it comes. Now there are two versions to choose from. One is T3B Integrated Soldering Station. And another is T3B Smart Soldering Station Standard Package. The operation methods of the two soldering stations are consistent. This video focuses on the T3B Integrated Soldering Station. Unboxing T3B Smart Soldering Station. A T3B Smart Soldering Station Host. 1 T210 Handle and 1 Power Cord. 1 C210K030 Soldering Pit. 1 Grounding Wire. Finally, it comes with two small screws. There are two stickers under the handle holder. Tear off the sticker and stick it on the host. First, align the corresponding screw holes of the handle holder and the host. Tighten with the two small screws provided. Connect the pentagonal aviation plug of the handle to the host. T3B Smart Soldering Station is compatible with T210 and T115 handle. Insert the ground wire into the banana socket on the back of the host. It's used for electrostatic protection. Plug the power cord into the socket behind the host. Plug the other end of the power cord into the power source. This is what it looks after the installation. Alloy Shell Super anti-static isolation design, meeting industrial ESD standards. Maximum 24 V 8 A current output, built-in DC power supply, and burn-in function. Connect with AISON platform to update the software of the soldering station upgrade the functions infinitely. Connect the USB cable to the Type-C interface on the left side of the host. Connect to computer. Open AISON official website on the computer. Download AISON software. After the installation, open AISON software. Register an account and login. The platform can identify the device automatically. Here the current software version is 1.13. The latest version is 1.14. Select the latest version and click Upgrade. It will be upgraded to the latest version. Here we can see that the software version has been upgraded to 1.14. Interfaces Operation and Functions Introduction. Turn on the power switch of the T3B soldering station. There are different icons and parameters on the screen. On the top bar, it displays, respectively, as the machine name. The second one is the boot time. Here it shows that this T3B has been used for 12 seconds. The time display is convenient for users. To view and record the operation time during operating. There is also an automatic reminder function for fatigue work. When the boot time reaches 4 hours, it will buzz and a window shows in, time for relaxing, will pop up. The third one is the current firmware version. The fourth one is the temperature inside the case. The current temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. There is an icon of handle on the right side of the screen. T3B can identify the handle model automatically. Here we can see that the current handle model is T210. The most prominent number in the middle, referring to the real-time changes of the temperature. There are three sets of numbers displayed below the temperature, which refers to the shortcuts for temperature settings. Press the CH button to quickly switch temperatures among the three channels, or rotate the knob. To customize any heating temperature between 100 and 450 degrees Celsius, set the heating temperature to 300 degrees Celsius. Pick up the handle. It will stop heating up after the temperature rises to 300 degrees Celsius. Put the handle back into the handle holder. The soldering station enters standby mode, and the temperature drops rapidly. The number displayed in zero above the temperature, indicating that the standby temperature is off. Press the knob to enter the curve interface. The temperature is displayed on the left, and the power is displayed on the right. Press the knob again to return to the main interface. In the standby mode, the temperature will stop dropping when reaches to normal temperature. If you need to set the standby temperature, press the set button to enter the setting interface of T3B. There are 10 options in the setting interface. 
Switch to Standby. Select Standby Temp to set the standby temperature. Press Set button to go back. You can also set Standby Delay here. After putting the handle into the holder, it will enter standby mode automatically when reaches the delay time. Standby Photo can be turned on or off. Select Echo Time to set the time to exit standby mode automatically. Select Screen Rest to automatically turn off the screen. If there is no operation within the set time, pick up the soldering tip to wake up the host and enter the heating mode. The power is displayed on the leftmost of the main interface. The power in standby status is zero. Pick up the handle to let the tip enter into the heating status. It can be seen that the power reaches the top value during heating. When the temperature reaches the set value and stabilizes, the power starts to drop. In settings, the first one is Temp Cali, which is used to calibrate the actual temperature of the handle. The temperature on the left row refers to the temperature displayed on the T3B. For example, we set the heating temperature as 300 degrees C. When it reaches 300 degrees C, the 300 displayed at that time is just the number on the first row on the Temp Cali interface. The numbers on the right row is the actual temperature of the handle. We can detect the actual value of the current soldering handle with the digital display thermometer. Touch the tip to the solder point of the thermocouple. The actual temperature of the handle will be shown on the digital display thermometer. It shows that the current temperature of the handle is 305 degrees Celsius. Switch to the third line of Temp Cali. Adjust the numbers to the actual temperature 305. Press the knob to calibrate. Heating the handle to 300 degrees Celsius. Test again. The actual temperature is displayed as 300 degrees Celsius, which is consistent with the temperature displayed on the host. Temperature calibration complete. The third one is max temp. The default option is turn off. The knob will be limited when the max temp is turned on. We can set any temperature between 100 and 500 degrees Celsius. Select the option with temperature display. Rotate the knob to set the upper limit of the temperature. Here we set the upper limit as 300 degrees Celsius. Back to the home page. It can be seen that the maximum temperature can only be adjusted to 300 degrees Celsius with the knob. The fourth is lock temp. It's default to be turned off. Turn on the lock temp function. Go back. Here the set changes to lock. We can't adjust temperature with the knob. Lock temp is suitable for operations that need to keep the temperature stable and constant for a long time during soldering. If you want to restore the temperature adjustment function of the knob, turn off lock temp. The sixth is buzzle. After turning off, the station will no longer make a sound. Select turn on to get the sound back. The seventh is temp shortcut. These three parameters refer to the three temperature shortcuts at the bottom of the main interface. Users can customize the temperature according to their needs. Go back. It can be seen that the temperature at the bottom of the main interface has been set as the needed value. The eighth is Reset. If you need to adjust back to the default settings, select Reset. Press the knob to Confirm and the host will restart. The parameters of the three temperature shortcuts have been restored to the original values. The ninth is temp unit. There are Celsius and Fahrenheit units for your option. The tenth is info. Press the knob to see the current system information. Device name T3B. Firmware version 1.14. Hardware version 1.01. T3B smart soldering station. It's not only convenient for users to operate, but also secure enough with reliable guarantee. Above are all the operations of T3B Smart Soldering Station. Press the switch on the front of the host. Turn off the station 